the young and the restless spoilers shock. Kyle Abbott returned to the Abbott mansion with a heavy heart, his steps slow as he approached the place he once called home. Inside, he found his father, Jack, slumped in a corner of the living room, a glass of whiskey in hand and an unmistakable air of desolation hanging over him. Kyle's chest tightened at the sight, he could feel the pain he'd caused his father, a pain reflected in Jack's tired eyes, in the lines etched deep into his face. It was a look of disappointment, sorrow, and the toll of betrayal, feelings Jack never thought he'd endure from his own flesh and blood. Guilt surged through Kyle. He had tried to prove himself, but in doing so, he had fallen into Victor Newman's trap. Victor had used him, exploited his ambition, and strained the bond that meant more to him than any corporate conquest ever could. Kyle was lost, but he knew one thing with clarity, he could not lose his father. Not again. Dad, Kyle said, his voice cracking. He took a step closer, each word a plea for forgiveness. I'm so sorry. I know I messed up. I let you down, and I've hurt you more than I ever imagined. I thought I was doing what was best, but now I see. I was wrong. Please, give me a chance to make it right. Jack looked up, his tired gaze meeting Kyle's. For a moment, Jack didn't speak, and the silence between them was heavy with years of history and hurt. But then, something softened in Jack's expression. The weariness in his eyes was met with a glimmer of hope, a father's unwavering love breaking through the anguish. Jack had always believed in second chances, and in his heart, he knew that Kyle had finally understood the weight of his actions. Kyle, Jack said slowly, his voice rough with emotion. We all make mistakes. What matters is that you're here now, that you've realized what's important. I've missed you, son. More than I can say. Jack reached for Kyle's shoulder, pulling him into a firm embrace. It was a simple gesture, but it held a promise of forgiveness, of rebuilding what had been broken. The two men sat together, the tension between them easing as they spoke openly for the first time in a long time. Kyle shared his doubts and fears, admitting how Victor's influence had led him astray, and Jack listened, his heart aching with both pride and sorrow. Kyle's humility, his willingness to own his mistakes, was the maturity Jack had longed to see. It was clear that Kyle had grown, that the struggles he'd faced had shaped him in ways Jack could never have forced. And now, a sense of understanding, of mutual respect, began to take root. As the night wore on, Jack made a decision that would solidify their bond. Kyle, he said, his voice steady, I want you to take on more responsibility at Chabot. You've earned it. The position of CEO is yours if you're ready to lead, but with one condition, you listen to me, not just as your father, but as your advisor. We work together, Kyle. This company was built on family, and together, we can take it further than ever. Kyle's eyes filled with gratitude and determination. I won't let you down, Dad. I'll prove that I'm worthy of your trust. I want to make Jabot something we can both be proud of. And, thank you. Thank you for believing in me. The alliance of father and son was reborn, forged in honesty and tempered by the lessons of the past. Together, they would steer Jabot with a new sense of purpose, one that honored both tradition and progress. But lurking on the horizon was a formidable adversary, Victor Newman, who had used Kyle for his own ends and had no intention of stepping back without a fight. Victor's influence had caused enough damage, and now Jack and Kyle prepared to face him head-on. The stakes were high, not just for Jabot's future, but for their own redemption as a family. Their partnership was stronger than ever, and they were determined to reclaim control, to protect the legacy they'd nearly lost. Victor, a master strategist with years of experience, would not be easily defeated, but Jack and Kyle were ready to face him with courage and unity. Meanwhile, Diane Jenkins, once an ally, found herself in an awkward position. Her loyalty to Jack was waning, and Victor's offer of power and influence tempted her. What started as a tense competition quickly escalated into a high-stakes battle, with Diane aligning herself with Victor against Jack and Kyle. Old alliances had shifted, and the family ties that once held them together now hung by a thread. The animosity between them was palpable, and the tension built with each passing day. The Abbott family was at war, divided by loyalty, ambition, and the quest for power. 
Yet, amidst the chaos, Jack and Kyle's bond only grew stronger. They saw in each other the reflection of their own strengths and weaknesses, and in their unity, they found the strength to face whatever challenges lay ahead. <laughs> <laughs>